formatting in MS Word. Lofty goal. Formatting the text, character formatting, to change font typeface, to change the font size, to change font styles and effects. To change text color, to highlight text. Paragraph formatting, to change paragraph alignment, bullets and numbering. In the previous chapter, we learned how to edit a document. Now I want to learn how to make my document more attractive. To make your document more attractive, you need to format it. There are many sets of tools in MS Word 2007 for formatting a document. Formatting the text. Formatting means changing and arranging text in a document to make it attractive. It can be done by changing the font, the size of the font, font style, adjusting line spacing, margins, tab setting, text alignment, list creations and the likes. There are two types of formatting styles applied in MS Word. Character formats are applicable to only the selected text. These can be applied by using the font group. Paragraph formats are automatically applicable to the entire paragraph by using the paragraph group. Character formatting Character formatting includes font typefaces, font size, effects, bold, italics, underline, colors and more. Using the font group on the home tab To use any of the character formatting options available, the text has to be selected first and only then can any changes can be applied. Font typeface Font size Bold Italics Underline Strike through Subscript Superscript Clear formatting Font highlight Font color Change case Grow Shrink front Some more You can use the handy mini toolbar which helps your work with fonts, alignment, text color, indenting and bullets. To change font typeface. Step 1. Select the desired text first. Step 2. Click the arrow next on the font name. As you over the font list, the font is previewed on the selected text. Step 3. Choose a font. To change the font size. Step 1. Click the arrow next to the font size and choose the appropriate size or click the increase or decrease font size buttons. To change font styles and effects. Font styles are predefined formatting options that are used to emphasize text. They include bold, italic and underline. To add these styles to the text, Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Choose to make it bold, to make it italic or to underline it. Some more. Shortcut keys. Bold. Control plus B. Italic. Control plus I. Underline. Control plus U. To change text color. Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Click down arrow next to the font color button in the font group of the ribbon. Step 3. Choose the color you want. Applied color. To highlight text. Highlighting text allows you to emphasize text as you would if you have had a marker. To highlight text. Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Click on down arrow next to the highlight button in the font group of the ribbon. Step 3. Select the desired color and your text will be highlighted. Highlighted text. We have to prepare an attractive list of students. Is there an option in Word for making lists? Yes. Use paragraph group. There are many options to organize information systematically. Paragraph formatting. Using the paragraph group, you can format a paragraph. It makes paragraphs more interesting. 
Paragraph formatting basically covers the following. Paragraph alignment, line spacing, border and shading, indents, bullets and numbering. In this chapter, we will cover paragraph alignment as well as bulleting and numbering the lists. HOTS When you open Word document, which alignment is preset? To change paragraph alignment. Alignment is the way in which you place the text in your document. Word provides you mainly four types of alignments. Align left. The text is aligned along the left margin. Align right. The text is aligned along the right margin. Center. The text is aligned between the left and the right margins. Justify. The text is aligned evenly between the left and right margins. To change the alignment, the steps are Step 1. Select the paragraph or place your cursor anywhere inside the paragraph. Step 2. Click the Home tab, choose the appropriate button for alignment in the paragraph group and see the change in the paragraph. Pollution is the spoiling of land, air and water. Smoke from vehicles, factories and houses fouls the air. Garbage from houses is thrown in open space. This pollutes the land and air. In left alignment, right alignment, center alignment, justification. Bullets and numbering. In Word, you can easily create bulleted or numbered lists of items. This style is used to organize information systematically in a list. Several bulleting and numbering styles are available. You can select the one you wish to use. The steps are Step 1. Select the paragraph or place your cursor anywhere inside the paragraph. Step 2. Click the Home tab. In the paragraph group, click on Bullets, Numbering or Multi-Level button. Which one is correct?